In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at Constant Force 2D. So I've got my red arm selected here. I'm gonna come down to Add Components and select the Constant Force 2D component. And this is a very simple one. Now throughout creating our 3D games, we've played around with forces quite a bit, even in some of the 2D games we've created. And we've always seen that whole Add Force command that we're using in our fixed update. This component simplifies most of that for us. Now I do like to do it through code first so you have a better understanding of how this works. But this component allows you to go ahead and simulate most of that. Now keep in mind this component is still only called every physics update, but let's take a look at it. So to start off with, we can apply a constant force. Let's just go negative one on the X. And just to show this off a little bit better, I'm gonna turn gravity off for this. And if we start it, it should start going this way. And it collides. Likewise, if we went ahead and went up as well, it should start moving that way. Let's see if I can jump on it in time. Oh, there we go. So I've interfered with it. You can still interact with it, but it is gonna go ahead and still keep moving. Now, if we zoom out a bit, the force for the first parameter force it's always going to be in this direction, regardless of what direction your game object is facing locally. So notice as I'm spinning here, the force is always in this direction. We'll go ahead, turn that off. I'll zoom back in and let's take a look at the next parameter, relative force. So if we did the exact same thing, negative one and one, and just went ahead and hit play, the exact same behavior is exhibited. Why is that? Well, it's because now we're adding relative force. And this relative force goes off of our local axes and not our global axes. So if I were to go ahead and take this game object, our red arm, and rotate it a bit on Z, let's go, let's go this way. Let's go 45 degrees to the left. Now we're gonna go ahead and start this. I'm actually gonna switch it over to plus one on the X. So it actually moves this way. We should get it moving straight up. And sure enough, it is. And that's because the force is applied here. Now, if I were to go ahead and rotate it some more, let me quickly stop this. Let's do a complete 90 degree rotation. And it's gonna hit me. So let's see if I can move out of the way quick enough. There we go. Notice that it's moving up in this direction because again, we're moving one on the X and one on the Y, but the relative force is being applied there. So relative to our X and Y. Again, if we switch this over to one and one, switch these back to zero and zero, and you can combine these, keep that in mind as well for other effects. It goes back to moving this way again, because we're using world axes. And of course this frame is, uh, this force is applied every frame, or at least, no, sorry, not every frame, every fixed update. So let's go ahead, switch this back to zero and zero. And the last thing we can look at is torque, which is just rotation. Let's give it a 10 force to rotate. And move out of the way. There we go. If we were to go ahead and switch this to negative, it'll rotate the other way. It might take a second or two to stop the rotation, but there we go. And like always, we can interact. If we can jump on it, get it to spin the other way, it eventually will correct itself because it does have that constant torque rotation being applied to it. Gonna bump it out of the way a bit so it can actually get rotating again. Whoops. <laughs> there we go. We've got stuff above it. I, th I think we've just got it jammed. It's not gonna be able to rotate now. But that's okay, we get the idea, right? And just to show some stuff off, we can go ahead and apply some forces and combine them. And of course that one wasn't too exciting because it just threw it right into the, the floor. It's like very basic AI. <laughs> uh, let, let's go up. You should get the understanding of how this works though. I'm just gonna start it off at zero. And of course, anytime I start doing these little things, I just spend way too much time playing with it. We switched over to global and we take note of the direction it's facing. 
not only is the force being applied in that angle, but it's also constantly rotating. But anyway, I'll leave that for you to go ahead and play around with. It is kind of a cool alternative. You just, you need some sort of force applied to a game object. You just don't want to script it, especially if that's the only thing you're going to be doing. For instance, projectiles, you launch your missile. All you really care about is just having it go in one direction. And now you only need a script to detect when it hits something. It can make things a little bit quicker. This is available in the 3D version as well. But as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. So if you liked the video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. It really does help me out here on YouTube. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter. I can be a pretty chatty guy over there. When I'm not walking through a forest. Or being stalked by eagles. And falcons. Lions, tigers, and bears. <laughs>